Good morning, church family. It is April 26th, 2020. Um, I can't help but wonder how all of you are doing and uh, what this week has brought about for you. I'm going to start out in prayer, uh, just hoping that you are bringing yourself to prayer more often. So, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, this week, um, our strength that you are wrapping your arms around us. You are sending us all kinds of signs that say you are here with us. Help me with this message to make it meaningful and reach our children and our adults alike. In your name I pray. Amen. So I have spent a lot of time thinking this week. Uh, I've kind of cycled through um, panicking to just um, trying to enjoy the change to more thinking about really what this piece of our lives looks like in the whole big scheme of things. In our faith journey, what does this pandemic time, that this big word that we hear this time that has changed everything, that we knew to be our normal everyday life. What, is, what does this mean? So I have some props set up here. I'm going to move a little bit so you can um, see what I've been working on this morning. And it's just kind of a big round circle that I have back here. I was going to actually gonna try and turn. So you can see my big round circle. And I'm choosing to look for my pen. Um, I'm choosing to show this circle as if it were the school years of one of our graduates this year. So if we were to say that our senior, if you have, so many of you have seniors either in your family, in your, as relatives, um, somewhere, a friend, a neighbor, you know a senior. So if they went to a couple years of preschool or preschool and beginner garden, however they did it, they actually have had about 20 years. Of education. So we're going to talk about 20 years of education. So I was sitting here thinking about oh, 20, 20 years of going to school as a senior would mean that this school year, their senior year, is about 1 20th of their education. <clears throat> so I took an orange circle so I can hold up my orange circle, and I started to split it so I could understand. So if I was splitting it in 20 pieces, I did it in half would have been 10, and then half of that would have been five, and so then I still needed to get down to 1 20th, so I separated this because this school year, would be 1 20th of their time in school, which we're really missing right now. But in this school year, we don't go to school your whole year of your life. We have our summer and everything, and we actually got through seven, almost seven out of our nine months together. So that means I have to take this one school year 
of their senior life. And it would be yours if we counted all the way up until your seniors, whatever age you are. And then the part of our learning education, part of our 20 years that we are going to get to be in the classroom with our friends doing our normal schooling. This, I don't want to point it really close to my center. This pandemic time is going to take this much of their whole picture. So as hard as some of these milestones seem right now, as hard as it seems to not be in my classroom, really this is all we're going to give up to this crazy virus, that little tiny piece. Now, some of you are like, well, you know, I don't really care about the classroom, but I was supposed to be playing baseball, and I was supposed to be running in track, and I was supposed to be doing soccer, and I was supposed to be acting in plays, and I was supposed to be this. And that actually might affect more of our spring, and it might affect our summer sports. So with that, that piece is a little bit bigger. It, it adds on a few more months of their 20 years. Now, this is based on 20. So if you happen to be watching this and you are 70, 80, that piece gets much, much smaller. It's a much less significant part of your overall story. Um, and some of you are saying, well, I can't go see my friends. I can't have play dates. I can't have birthday parties. And that, we don't know. I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's actually going to last until the school year starts up again. We really have no idea. But even if that is what it was, let's just say that that's a little bit bigger piece. Let's say that our missing out on our friends time, that piece becomes a little bit bigger. So the things that we're rolling into are missing out on during these few months of a senior's life would be that piece right there. Now, in that piece, we are also learning some really valuable lessons. So this piece is not insignificant, that's a big word, but it is um, maybe not as significant as we've been letting ourselves believe. Now, for the best part of my whole sermon this morning, I want to show you what really can affect every minute of every day, of every week, of every month, of every year, whether you are three, five, 10, 20, 50, 70, 90, 110. I don't care what your age is, what, part of your circle um, this pandemic is affecting, I want to show you what can fill up that whole circle. And we can't say this about anything else. We can't say it about the school year or a sports season or a special event. This really is the only thing I can even think of that we can say this about. So look at this. This is really cool. Look at what can fill and be able to cover up that pandemic, God, our faith, believing, knowing that he is always here. No matter how long we live, no matter how many days this lasts, God will fill that entire time. So I'm going to say a quick prayer and let you guys go. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for all the beautiful children and people that might be listening to this message. Please be with them this week. Please let them understand that you are so much bigger than this time. And we will take away what we need to take away from it, but we will do it in your name. Wrap your arms around each and every one of us this week and help lead us in the direction that you would like us to go. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, everyone.